Hey everybody, it's Claire here um, from This Is Lifeblood. Welcome to my first ever video blog, vlog. Uh, it's pretty exciting to be doing a video for you all so you can get to uh, maybe know me a little bit better. I'm currently at my parents house in country New South Wales as you can see. I'm enjoying the outdoors and hanging out in my in my um, front yard so welcome. Thank you so much for um, for being a part of This Is Lifeblood so far as well. I've really um, I've had so much fun already over the last couple of months and I've enjoyed writing and I've enjoyed hearing from you all. Um, I can't wait to share more with you. But today I really just wanted to share something that has really been a massive revelation for me this week and I've just been so excited, uh, which is why I'm doing a video because I think I just need to just get it out. Um, it's really a big deal for me. Um, basically, as you all probably have realised, I eat well, I look after my body, I watch what goes into my body and listen to my body. I know what's good for me and I know what isn't. Um, I'm currently training to be a health coach um, with the Institute of Integrative Nutrition so that I will be able to help other people do the same thing. Um, find you know, the ultimate health and wellness, be able to really look after themselves, look after their body, um, you know, exercise and um, create a spiritual practice and just have a really happy, a healthy, healthy and happy life. Um, so basically this is, this is just how I live my life. Um, I eat really well, I, I meditate, I do yoga, I exercise and um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy. It makes me happy. So often people ask me, like, why do you do this? Why do you avoid certain foods? Why do you choose a salad? Why do you eat this? Why do you exercise? Um, you know, why? Why meditate? Why do all of these things? And I've always answered those questions by defaulting back to when I got really sick. So when I was 17, for those of you who don't know me, I was um, diagnosed with acute hepatitis. I had liver inflammation and I was really sick. Um, and I'll go into more of that another time. But basically, the only thing that... Um, that healed my body was going on the liver cleansing diet, which is an all, you know, fresh fruit and vegetables, heaps of vegetable juice, no alcohol, no meat, no sugar, no dairy, um, no wheat, no gluten, nothing that irritates your body, I suppose. It just really gives your liver a huge break so it can just cleanse and heal and repair because your body will heal itself, you know, if you give it enough if you give it a good chance to do it, if you eliminate all of that crap. So I did that and, you know, I was stone cold sober at my 18th birthday and um, missed months of school and, and all that kind of stuff. And I've always said, well, that's why I do it now. Like, that's why I eat that way because I healed my body and, and that's why. But it's not actually the truth. And that's what you'll read in my bio. I wrote that in my about section that that's why. And I've always struggled with that because... I don't want to be the girl that had liver disease and I don't want to be that that's the reason why because um, if I'm totally honest that's not that's not the reason because for a few years there I totally rebelled against that I was living out of home so I was eating whatever I was drinking way too much um, you might have read my recent post about why I'm not drinking anymore um, you know like I went you know did all of these other things. It hasn't been like, oh, one minute I had liver disease, the next minute um, I was healthy and then that's just how it's been the whole time because it's definitely not true at all. I've always wanted to live a healthy life and I've exercised but to be honest, it's always come from a place of fear. It's always been if I don't drink vegetable juice, then it's going to come back. I'm going to get sick again. And if I don't go for a 10K run, um, I'm going to put on like two kilos this week. If I don't, um, you know, if I don't look after myself, then, um, yeah, I'm going to get fat or I'm going to get sick again or this blah, blah, won't like me or, you know, I'm not, you know, it's always coming from this place of fear. And I think we're so, we're taught that so often, you know, you read health magazines, um, even some of the really great women's health magazines and it's like, you know, if you eat this, you need to run for this long, you know, eat two Tim Tams, burn it off, 
you know, by doing this. And it's always coming from this place of fear. It's not like, um, you know, exercise because exercise is really good for you and walking is really good for you. Yoga is really good for you. Running, swimming, whatever you do, whatever you do, cycling. Exercise is incredible for you. It's so good for you. But we're so often taught that exercise is something to do to burn off the food. Um, it just creates this guilt cycle. And so for a really long time, I was doing all of these things because, um, yeah, I was afraid of, of getting fat, putting on weight, getting sick again. So I detox throughout the whole week because, oh, I'd, I'd, I'd had like eight beers on the weekend and I'd eaten KFC and then I'd blah, blah, blah. Like, and I'd go on these binge cycles where it was like, oh, okay, well, I'll just get really drunk Saturday night, I'll just eat shit all day Sunday, and then I'll just, like, go on a detox Monday, you know, Monday to Wednesday or whatever it was, and, and then just, like, flush that out. And it was just horrible. It's just, like, this negative, really negative, destructive cycle. Um, and I think what I've realised, probably over the last 12 months, I've really done a lot of work in myself and really got curious and looked at myself and went, you know, why? I was exhausted. Why am I doing why am I doing this to myself? I know how to care for myself, but why am I choosing these destructive behaviours? Um, why is this this constant cycle? Why can't I exercise because I love it? I love exercising. Why can't I eat organic fresh food because I love that? Why does it have to be this um, constant place of fear? So anyway, I think what I'm trying to get at is that I think what's really important is that you need to come from a place of love. And really, when people ask me now, if you ask me now why I do what I do, why I eat so well 90% of the time, why I go to yoga three or four times a week, why I walk, why I stop drinking so much, I haven't cut alcohol out altogether, but why I'm not binge drinking anymore. Um, why I prioritise time by myself, meditation, why I do all of these things. Um, it wouldn't be because, you know, I was sick nine years ago anymore. It wouldn't be because I'm afraid of getting sick again. It wouldn't be because I'm afraid of getting fat, um, of putting on weight. Uh, it would be because I love myself. And, I've, yeah, I've, I've really come to that place where I can say I choose to do these things out of love. Out of, out of really love for myself um, because it's good. It's amazing for me. I'm happier, I'm healthier when I do these things and I think that is so important if you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to just be a bit healthier or whatever it is, you're trying to be, become more spiritual, more creative, um, you need to talk from a place, a place of love. It's far more sustainable than trying to do all these things from a place of fear because if you're constantly afraid um, that if you don't do it, something bad is going to happen or I should do this or I should do that or I feel guilty because I did this and now I need to do that like that's just that just sucks that's just shit don't yeah you need to really choose that place of love and it comes from building a really a strong self-love um, within yourself creating the self-love practice and every day working on that you know every single day going what am I going to do today to you know to show myself how much I love myself what am I going to do um, so these are things that I really want to talk about more in the blog as we kind of move forward now that I've kind of realised that I don't do these things just because I was sick nine years ago. Um, I do it because I've, I've, I've done a lot of work and I've gone through some massive inner struggles. I've hated my body. I've God, I've done some awful things. I've been on some crazy crash diets and I've done some nasty stuff. I've eaten some terrible things. I've really come from a lot of body hate and angst and um and to come now to be really coming to a place of yeah I really I love myself and I really love my body um it takes a lot of work but I things that I really want to talk about um on the blog more often um I want to leave you with one more thing this morning um I was a bit nervous about filming this video and so I pulled an angel card which is what I do um most days and they're always always completely accurate totally Oh, it's totally spot on. It's incredible. Um, but this is what I pulled. It's the Earth Angel card. And it talks about um, about love, about teaching about love. So it's just perfect really for this video because I think that's essentially what I'm really trying to say. It's really about loving yourself enough 
to look after yourself, to want to be the healthiest person for yourself and for your family and your friends and coming from that place of love. So there's a little exercise on this card um, which I'd like to share with you and I would really like it if you did it, I'm going to do it as well. Basically, you just get a piece of paper. It can be on a word processor, on the computer, or, or just a piece of paper. And I want you to write down at the top things I like about myself. Um, and I want you to list everything. Positive, um, positive things about yourself. It can be minor, it can be major. It's like, I really like that I always know the right thing to say. Or I really like that um, I really like my hair. I really like my family. I really like the way I... Um, seem to be able to inspire other people to do certain things. Um, I really like I'm always on time. I really like um, the colour of my eyes. I really like the way I cook risotto that really awesome way. You know, whatever it is, whatever it is, I want you to write everything down. All these things that you like about yourself. Um, and be honest, no one else needs to read it. You just write everything on there that you like about yourself. And at the very top, I want you to cross out like and I want you to write love. So everything that you love about yourself. And I want you to keep this list. I want you to continually add to it. Every day you think of something and you're like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that I yeah, that was cool of me. You know, well that was really yeah, alright. I I like that about myself. I love that about myself. And we're gonna write it down, um, and we're gonna really start building up that list. And we're gonna come back to that at another time as well. But I'm way over what I wanted to this video to be, so I apologise. Um, thank you if you watched the whole thing. I really appreciate it. Um, I've just uh, started up my newsletter, and I've got lots of really crazy ideas for ebooks and different things and worksheets coming up soon related to this whole concept of just um, looking at healthy way of life as just a you know, something you do for yourself to love yourself and, and food not just being about wanting to lose weight or whatever it is but, you know, really connected to you, to you and to your spirituality and, um, and just creating an amazing life for yourself. So more on that soon. Um, but, yeah, if you want to, I think the um, just on the sidebar on the blog, there should just be a, a section for you to enter your email address and name to sign up to my newsletter and then you'll be notified straight away because um, it's all going to be free to start with, amazing free ebooks and content and I just want to get it all out there because I have so many things I just want to get out to share with you. So it's all going to be, you know, yeah, completely free, sign up um, and yeah, thank you so much for, yeah, for watching the video and I will see you soon on the blog. Let me know in the comments below how you go with the exercise or what you think of the video. Um, just tell me some things you love about yourself, whatever, um, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye.